Hello everyone, in this video we will see how we can install AA panel on AWS. So let's get started. So this is the AA panel and this is the dashboard of AA panel. Here we can click on install AA panel free edition and we and here we have two scripts. One is for pro edition and one is for free edition. We will use the free edition. So let's jump to the AWS. So this is the AWS login page. Uh, not the login page but the dashboard and from here we will search for ec2 and for the and now here we will click on launch instance or you can even go to instances from here we can see we had, do not have any instance running at present so let's click on launch instance and let me name is a, a panel and from here i will be selecting ubuntu on a, a panel they are suggesting to use the ubuntu version 22 so let's select for 22 version is this one let's select it and this is okay and let me choose t2.medium for now dot medium as it has 4 gb ram and 2 cpu and let me create a key pair for the connection a, a panel let me download it it's downloaded and for the security group let's for now enable only ssh and we will see as we go along the installation what all security groups are required and here i will be selecting 30 gb of space and that's all i think we are good to go let's click on launch instance and let's wait for the instance to be in running state for now it's in pending state so now the instance is in running state so let's connect to it we have two methods one, one is via clicking hit the checkbox and click on connect and this is the one method so we are now on the terminal and we have another method let's try that also so this is the aapanel.pem file that we downloaded when creating the instance. Let's go to the terminal and here let's go to downloads folder and then we will use ssh-i aapanel ubuntu at the public IP that is mentioned there. Let's copy it and paste. And click yes and it says the permission is not there so we will change the permission of the pem file ch mod 400 and then we'll use panel and let's try the connection again so now you can see we are now connected to the instance and we can now run the cell script that is the cell script or the script that they have given us but before doing that let's create let's assign a elastic ip to this instance this elastic ip is required in case of system failure this public ip might get lost but if we have elastic ip then this elastic ip is never lost and we can have that even we after the failure so let me assign that first for that we'll go to the elastic ip from the left sidebar and click on allocate elastic ip click allocate and from here select the elastic ip that is just created and will associate this elastic ip to the instance that is running allow this elastic ip and associate so now the elastic ip is assigned let's go back and refresh so that we can say this was the public ip let me refresh and see the elastic ip so now you can see the elastic ip so we will have to again reconnect the reconnect from the like, like if we are trying to do anything it won't work because the uh, terminal is now disconnected from the instance so let me reconnect it for that we'll do ssh dash i a, a panel and the public ip is 175 then 175 let's click yes and it's not yet connected let me see what's the issue 
is not accessible so we are connecting from wrong place let's go to the downloads folder and from here we will again try the connection so now we are connected so let's jump to the script so this is the script let's copy it and let's go to the terminal again and paste here it is showing some kind of error let me debug it and see let's try this with sudo sudo bash and this now we are with the sudo low user so let's try again and we can see it's now starting it let's click on yes and now the installation has started let me fast forward it because it will take some time So now you can see the application is installed, a panel is installed and they have given the URL. This is the URL and the username is this one and the password is this one and it also says release the following ports. So let's release all these following ports from the security group assigned. So for, for that we'll go to the elastic IP and let look for the security group. We'll click here and this is the security group assigned to this instance. Let's click here. And for now we only have 22 ports. Let me edit the ports and add all the ports that is mentioned. Custom IP and this is the port. We want this to be connected from everywhere. And the second one is 888888. The next one is 80 which is HTTP. Then is 443 which is HTTPS and the final is 20 and 21 20 and 21 21 here okay, and we are good to go let's click save so all the ips that is mentioned is now released so let's click on this url and connect so let me click on advance and proceed so now we are on the aa panel login page so let's login with the login details given by them this is the login and here is the password let's click here and click login so as you can see the AA panel is installed this is for now in this specific video